Hello, it's Warren Hewitt here. Hope you're doing marvelously well. In today's episode, we're going to try out a mic from our good friends over at Roswell. So Matt McGlynn has sent us this new microphone to try. He has insisted that this is an amazing vocal mic, and I believe him. Matt has been um, instrumental in really helping us out. We've done two chats now, live streaming chats on the channel where he has discussed all kinds of mics. What I really appreciate about Matt, and those of you that know him from recordinghacks.com, for instance, is he's a real straight shooter. When something's good, he praises it. And when something isn't, he has good reasons. He's a very straight ahead, logical guy. So when he started Roswell Mics, of course, a few years ago, everybody got excited because they knew he would make really, really great microphones, but most importantly, at a very affordable price. Because part of the thing the recording hack specializes in is taking cheaper pieces of equipment and upgrading them as inexpensively as possible. So, but much ado, further ado, let's open up this. This is the latest mic they've made, which is entirely a vocal microphone. Let's have a look. Here it is. Order pack. So the retail price, I don't know what the street price is, but the retail price is $1,259. It's called a Colaris. I presume that's how you pronounce it. I didn't actually ask, so maybe I messed it up. Harmonic complexity, vintage circuit, gently overloads at moderate SPL to infuse your track with complex overtones. Edge terminated capsule, 251 style capsule, flashes the source with airy open top and, a, and low, full lows. Proximity filter, the three position filter switches and sculpts the bass response during tracking. Okay, we're gonna leave this super, super flat though. The way we're going to do this is we're going to have this going through Harmony's BCM10, which has 10, BAE 1073s in it. And we're going to go flat through this. We'll bypass the compression chain just so you can hear the mic. We have Liana James, who's one of my favorite songwriting partners and also one of my favorite singers. So it's going to be really special. Very nice. Here's the owner's manual, which knowing me, I will look at after we've heard it. So quick look at it. Very low noise, 10 dB pad, always nice to have a pad on a microphone. Um, requires phantom power. How not to drop your new microphone, that's nice. Sensitivity, high sensitivity, the more higher than most microphones. It looks like it has a nice low lift here and a nice high bump and some mid-range, like three, four, five kind of area, a little mid-range bump, and a little high bump at about the 10 or 12K area. So like it was claiming, you know, some airiness and some mid-range, yeah, should be really, really great. Um, again, I'm a big fan of Matt McGlynn, big fan of these mics, big fan of Roswell mics. All right, let's open this up and let's go put it on the stand. There we go, rather nice. It's great that it comes in the bag. This is substantial, wow. This is fantastic. Oh, you know the great thing about this as ever? We're doing a giveaway on it. This is beautiful. Ah, it's got its own sock. A lot of people use these continuously for keeping out the dust. All right, let's go. Set it up. Ta-da! There's a space between It's like cold in the universe Trying to find out what it means
know I want the world to know my name I cannot help but say I wish the world did not I wish the world did not know my name No one's ever been able to stop me in my tracks before You're a beast, wild animal And I'm the lion that you tamed Now I'm under your control You're like the ghost that follows me As I walk through the storm and it's all falling down, I can count on one hand my friends that stuck around. But I'm kicking and I'm screaming, I'm picking up the pieces. I got to let you know that I'm punching through the ceiling, I'm chasing down a feeling. No, I Try to cut me down, you're pushing me So I hope you enjoyed that. It's great to have two different singers with two completely different voices and two different studios. David, we recorded here, um, and he has a, a much softer, you know, very beautiful voice. And Liana has, you know, she has some schnizzle in her voice. She has some grit, some grind. And one of my favorite songwriters, she and I have written tons of stuff together. All those songs you heard, we actually wrote together. I've got to be honest, um, I'm in unbelievably impressed. One of the things about um, Matt McGlynn is he's, he's a bit of a badass, as Americans would say. He helps so many people out. His site, recordinghacks.com, is second to none if you want to know about gear. It's not cork sniffing, as some people talk about in those kind of places. It's not snobby at all. It's just helping people out. He started the site to help people with like the one or two hundred dollar Chinese mics and tell them how to upgrade them and improve them. And then it grew into a company, Roswell, that makes wonderful microphones. As you know, we have lots of microphones that we champion, lots of companies we champion, and Matt has been instrumental in helping so many people out. We've done two videos with him, just with him discussing all of the different kinds of microphones available and their pluses and minuses. And never at one time did he push any of his products. I respect him immensely. So when he said that this was a new mic we should try out, I was all over it. So have one more quick look at it. Remember, you can win this. This is beautiful. Thank you, Matt, for giving it, us this to give away. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a real work of art. It looks gorgeous. Um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Download the file, see what you think. I'll be honest, I think it's pretty darn smooth in that high end. In David's voice in particular, I added a lot of high end, and at no time did it get brittle. I will say, I absolutely love what this mic does. On Liana, it really brought out some, a little bit of crunch out there without ever getting too aggressive. Controlled high end on a microphone is really, really important. When we were in Blackbird a few months ago, we did a shootout, and I've talked about this many times before, but I think it was like 13 or 14 mics, 251, U47, 87, 
SM7, uh, we used the Slate, we did the Warm Audio 87, we shot all these microphones out. And then what we did is we had um, um, Lau mark them off as 1 to 12 and ran them on the console and play them all back at the same volume. And the microphone that won had the smoothest high end. It just didn't seem to be brittle, it just sit beautifully. Of course it was a U47 and it was one that um, they had marked as being one of the cleanest ones. What was interesting is the microphone that consistently came in third in 20 people's um, list was an SM7. So that's interesting. This is one of those kind of U47 mics. It, it's not a U47. Does it sound like exactly like a U47? No, it doesn't. But what the attribute that it has that's very similar to my 47 is it's really smooth on the high end, meaning I can really brighten up that vocal track. And in today's music, where everything is fighting for space, and we've got like, especially like program stuff going on with a band and samples on the drums to try and help them compete over the top of the massive synths and the heavy guitars, you know, when a track like that, you want, a, you want a mic that you can brighten up without it sounding brittle. So I think this wins really well for that. But even outside of that, just on a more simplistic track like I did with David, it sounded beautiful. That was just one bass, electric guitar, and drums. Oh, and a piano. But it was like very organic instruments, and it sounded beautiful on his voice as well. So, highly impressed. So, as ever, please enter to win. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. There's gonna be loads of different things around here where you can enter to win this mic. Thank you ever so much. Have a marvelous time recording and mixing, and we'll see you all again very, very soon.